afternoon, dear viewers, investors, partners, everyone who is watching this video. We have not met on this site for a long time. I understand that. You are probably tired of all this excavation work, but nevertheless, let's talk about it now. If the cameraman shows it now, right in front of me, on the right-hand side, there is a temporary road, an additional washing station, trays, containers and sand. Here is a pit. The water supply is being connected. And an excavator is being used behind me to remove all the soil. All the excess soil that has accumulated here from land utilities and all the other work that has been done. Debris is being removed. And we will now look at the intermediate results. There is a car going by in front of us now, so we are going to go this way. You can see that concrete slabs have been laid. We did it to get the equipment, because the delivery is done here. You can't do it from the other side. You can see that some of the materials are already being removed, because there were piles of debris. And on this side there were also piles of debris. And now we are approaching one of the main areas or rather, a critical area. Here we had piles of soil. Now you can see that over the weekend these mountains were gone. The surface has already been prepared for dumping sand. There is only a little bit left to remove, but now the water is receding there, because when they dug there was last year's snow. And here everything has already been prepared for sand and gravel. You can see the outlets for grounding. Now they will cut the contours and start laying. Corrugated pipes will be laid from those pipes to lay the power supply, according to a permanent scheme. You can see that so far cables of temporary power supply are running. And in the end, there will be layers of sand, gravel and asphalt. Let's move on. Let's move on. Our armored personal carrier is standing here. We are going to move it into the building soon, because it's already in the way of the work outside and there's already room in the building for it. Next, look, there are large rings. An excavator is being used. And the first water connection is being made. Because the connection is coming from two sides. One on the other side, one here. And the power supply will come from this pink building. Let's move on. Let's move on. We can show it closer. The rectangular holes are the storm drains. And all the ground needs to be removed up to this level. You can see it very well. It becomes clearly visible how much will have to be removed. And all this has to be cut. It's a very big job. Now we see the landscape. Vertical alignment is carried out. It is brought to a certain level. All excess soil is removed. And next week, sand pad will be added. Then gravel pad. Everything will be concreted out today. And as the ground is removed, the excavator will dismantle the road. Unfortunately, a lot of slabs are broken in the process, but what can you do? Heavy equipment is working here. This pile will also be taken out this week. And we will start preparing for asphalt paving here. So, congratulations to everyone on the beginning of this works. If earlier we said that this works was just beginning, 
Now we can see that they are carried out on a fairly large scale. There is a lot of work. Three excavators are working all the time now. Machines are carrying soil. We need to get 500 machines here and remove 12,000 cubic meters of soil. It is a colossal volume. But it always happens this way. Let's go on the other side of the building and see what is going on there. After all the mess going on around the building, where everything is dug over and torn up, when the guests enter the building and see how clean it is inside, they get the impression of wow, because the building is clean and bright inside. Well, it's as clean as it can be. We keep it clean. People even wear shoe covers in the laboratory. Because it's in perfect order. And the main work has already been completed. Now to the left, right here. You can see that we are completing installation of lifts with 2.5 tons capacity. As you can see, even a cleaning lady is working, cleaning her number of rooms. And robots are spinning. Let's go in here. The lines are being adjusted. We had an unexpected obstacle. One of the controllers in the firmware machine had a dead battery. We are taking steps now, so we don't have to replace the controller. They are trying to repair it. If they don't, they will resolder the battery. I hope we will make it in time, because we have to get this line up and running in June with the first batch of motors. As you see, there is a lot of tooling for different types of motors. Soon there will be a rack, where all this stuff will be stacked neatly, so there won't be such a mess. The guys keep working here, it's pretty clean. The guys keep working on developing and building machines. And now you can see the wheel motors for the 8-wheel bicycle, as they call it here. You can see that these are no longer the motor wheels that they used to be, but completely different, more serious things. Now I'll put on a helmet. And let's go look at another section of our adjustment work. Let's look at a different section. Here you can see that the machines aren't in operation, they are clean. They are keeping things in order here very well. We have one job that needs to be done urgently. And we've got one out of service machine running for that. You can see the sports equipment here. It is mandatory for all employees to devote some time to sports, to cardio exercise. It's obligatory. Otherwise, there will be reduced capacity for work. 
If we look into the laboratory, it's a completely different world. The floors are shiny, everything is clean. The lockers, the electricity, the workstations. It's not what it used to be. Work is in full swing here. And order is very strictly enforced. And here is the body of the lab itself. You can see what it looks like. There are a lot of motors here now. They are being tested. We can walk through here and see where one motor is on the test bench. Why are we testing them? I'll tell you eventually. It'll be interesting. But that's a separate topic. A separate conversation we'll have. So if you look from here, it's still spacious. But it's about to get pretty busy. Here we have a platform. It's waiting for its wheels. Now the guys there are assembling them, and then they will put them on the stands, and then here to their regular places. This platform is already prepared. We can already test it. As you can see, there are the motor wheel blanks. Metal is made for them. Here we have parts that have been assembled. They are pressed. Here are the brakes from them. The work is in full swing. And I must say that it's not just to satisfy curiosity at the expense of investors. Absolutely not. Now, look at the main shop. Not long ago, it was full of crates of equipment. All the equipment is assembled, the whole area is free for the arrival of additional new equipment. So we took away all the packing. There are residual processes happening here. And today we will start to bring the equipment here. So what can I say? Over there, we have a room where the guys work with low power. They've been assigned a room and they're running cables through the chutes. Let's go see one more thing. What we said in words, you can see it now. I will remove this barrier here. Come on in. Look. A flight of stairs. What is left to be done? Vacuuming, railing, lights and doors. And then you put the casings in here and that's it. That's the kind of work that has been done. And flights of stairs at different stages of readiness. Work is also being carried out in other areas. We will not go out here. Because it would be a little difficult for the cameraman with the camera. 
So we will go another way. Please show that. Here you can see that there is less and less equipment. It's all being mounted and then it's gone. Let's go here. Here we have a section of universal machines. Not to waste money, because the load on them will not be very big. It will be small for prototypes, so we relied mostly on Soviet machines. They are in good technical condition. They have been restored. They are one of the first machines through more here. They are not designed for large volumes. They are designed for making single pieces and for tooling. We have all the necessary equipment here and all the necessary furniture. Here we have the 3D printer area. It's closed. The printers work. The photopolymer and thermal printers. Over there, on the right, we have the foundry area. It's closed now. And now we'll come up to an interesting area. This is what we can see here. What is here? Here we have a complex engineering junction, the intersection of all the utilities. Storm sewer, utility sewer, water, heat supply. And here is the heat chamber. There will be branches, there are gate valves, water supply chamber. Now the pipes are already welded there. The ground is dug out for landscaping. And this will be backfilled with soil. There is a pad made at the bottom. We are waiting for concrete today. The under concrete will be poured. We will install waterproofing, close the trays and go to the finish line. The cameraman will show what it looks like from the other side. The driveway for the concrete truck is being made now. Everything on this side is very tight. But nevertheless, the amount of work on the utilities is coming to some kind of result. We are coming out to the end of the site where the gate was. And we will do tapping. Somewhere we will make punctures and somewhere we will dig trenches. That will depend. And today we are waiting for the delivery of equipment. So no one has been idle all this time. The work was going on very intensely. Here we can see the work on laying the power cable. And note that the site is quite clean. Everyone is surprised that, despite the dirt outside, we keep the inside clean and tidy. We have two lifts being installed here. And we have even temporarily installed lift call buttons. You can go up, you can go down. The stairwells are being finished here. The scaffolding is in place at the top. And the phrase for the class will be put on top. And glass panels will be installed in the future. We will have control room here. We can see that the power supply is in the trays. There are wires hanging from the ceiling and hanging out of the walls. 
So all the wires are in place. What is going on with the facade? You can also see that there is a material warehouse. It's the same on this side. And there as well. So we're going to go to this side now. Let's see what it all looks like. This trailer is about to leave this place. Barrels were swapped here. Here are the gate valves that will be installed. Fire hydrants to the chambers. All this is already prepared. All the materials are there. All the materials have been purchased. The rings are waterproofed. There's just a little bit left. If we look at this gate, where there used to be a control point, an entrance, everything is already finished. Manholes are already buried in this place, wells for water connection, sewerage, storm drains are covered. Everything has already been put together here. And there's a heating main coming up. We should get to this orange bag there. We're going to turn around and go to the connection. We have already made covers for the water connection here. Large diameter pipes that we will bury. Pipes are already here. Another washing station, cable products. Everywhere you look, there are materials that will go into work soon. This is what has happened in the meantime. Of course, you can show you the site where the heating main was dug before and see that everything has been restored. Everything is done in a nice and tidy way. And we do not leave behind dirt or anything ruined. We leave a better place than it was. The trees that were dug up, they were planted and now they are growing. Grass was sown, it sprouted. And what was dug there is no longer noticeable. So that is it, dear colleagues. The intensity of the work is great. I once estimated that every day the construction site spends up to 4 million rubles. That's the scope of work that we have had recently. But thank God that we are nearing the end of the utility work stage. Next week we need to do the first water connection and the second one there. And we are going to connect household sewage and we are going to dig a hole here for horizontal drilling because we have to go there with the storm sewer. Stay tuned, stay safe, trust yourself and your feelings. In our difficult times we need to take care of each other and of our loved ones. Good luck to you all. Goodbye.